with what started off as just a personal issue between you and ODB has escalated into a full-blown war involving Taylor Wilde, Roxy, and your beautiful people. Now, you have to have mixed emotions going into this match. As you pursue a victory, if successful, you will also lose Booker's plus changing room to your partners, the beautiful people, in the process. Well, you know what, Lauren? That's just detail. Detail that Booker and I will deal with after the victory. But as far as the match, ODB, even though I look, act, and smell like a lady, what's beneath the package is something you're not ready for. Because you see, underneath all this beauty, I'm about as ghetto as ghetto can be. And tonight when that final bell rings, I'm gonna be Beyonce and all over your dimpled cellulite butt. Oh, cellulite, cellulite, oh, gross. Speaking of cellulite, which, by the way, disgusts me to infinity and beyond, okay, I cannot believe that I am not blind right now by all the cellulite. My poor eyeballs had to witness just waddling around in the girls' locker room earlier. Okay, really, ladies? Handle that. And you know what else, Angelina? A lot of the girls around here refer to us as the bad girls' club. Well, let's get one thing clear, shall we? They're absolutely right. We do bad things to bad people. But let me make one thing clear to all you idiot holes out there. We never start anything. We simply take out the trash that they put in the ring with us. <sighs> Taylor Wilde, Roxy, okay, really? Really? We are so tired of beating the ugly out of you. It's not even fun to us anymore. We are so over it. In fact, the only reason we accepted this match is because the beautiful people wanted another crib. Hmm. Yes, and um, we all totally know that you can never have only one of something. Okay. Booker. <laughs> and Booker, we just want to thank you in advance for your lovely, oh, I mean, beautiful yeah. locker room. Because quite frankly, the beautiful people can never have enough real estate. I mean, we really yeah, can't. It's impossible. We totally like, can't have enough. Like never, never ever in the whole like white that. world. Sorry, just and the reason that the economy sucks so bad right now is because we own everything. Yes. I mean, we really do. That's how we do. Okay. Ah. <laughs> we're beautiful. We're spoiled. Ah. And we're perfect. Mm -hmm. We know it. And we love it. And we really... Ooh. Really right now? Okay. Really? Yes. something. Can't believe Oh my god. Governor? <gasps> Governor, is that you? What? <gasps> Okay, hold on one second. Okay, okay, okay. Hello? How are you? Oh my god! You will never guess what. Velvet and I are just about to go on a moose hunt right now. Right now. Oh no, no, no. Yes. Yes, I know. Okay. Thursday? Of course. You want to come to impasse? Impasse? Okay, you want to come to the impasse zone? Totally and come to. Oh. I will put you on the list. I'm totally cool like that. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, you just call me when you land, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, bye. Oh, you're the governor's governor! Let's go! Okay, let's go, let's go! Okay, come on, come on, come on. Uh, Okay, 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 why don't they just go? Let the young guys take over TNA. The young boys need to learn some respect. And you know what else? You need to start respecting me. How about me and you at the next pay-per-view? Final resolution. There's no way I'm going to let my queen get into the ring with that she-beast. You're looking for the services of the beautiful people. Starting tonight and through the pay-per-view at Final Resolution to walk down to the ring with Charmel to provide back up. If the beautiful people help Charmel win her match at Final Resolution, 
then we get your locker room. <laughs> you want my lava room? You can have my lava room. We got a little problem. Charmin and Booker D hired the beautiful people, yeah. so now it's gonna be a little three on one. Just call us, we got your back. So you're saying the three of us against those three Fight? I'm down for a fight. We can those up. Charmin and the beautiful people take on ODB, Taylor Wilde, and Roxy. Who does she want? 
Oh, either one of them. Look at it. She wants Charmel. She wants Charmel. Can't blame her as well. I mean, that's how this whole thing started with Charmel, the special guest on ODB's talk show. And instead, going to take down both of the beautiful people and take them out of play and now get that backup that we talked about. And all of a sudden, Charmel jumps in the arms of Cute Kip. Well, this is about the front line and about the main event mafia as well. ODB, of course, stood up with the front line. Charmel, as we know, part of that main event. But when she had to look into the eyes of ODB, she just wasn't quite ready, was she, Mike? Look at that fear. Sort of brushed it off in the pre-match interview with Lauren, saying that the potential for them to lose Booker T's locker room to the beautiful people is a detail that her and Booker will deal with after final resolution. We see quickly here on the offense, it goes Angelina Love. Oh, Roxy just stopped her dead in her track. I mean, grabbed the arm and just pulled her right into the forearm. And now you see she gets, goes in and gets Taylor Wilde tagged in. She brings those arms down and chops the arm, and now it's going right at Angelina Love. Boy, there's so much done at stake here tonight, top to bottom. In almost every match, as we see the double sledge off the top by Roxy. Of course, feast for fire to open final resolution. The crib of Booker T at stake here. The championship match is still to come. And the entire future of TNA's main event mafia and the TNA front line, that's at stake tonight as well. I mean, think about it. If Rhino gets the win, then the head of the main event mafia is going to be gone from TNA. I mean, it could be a crushing defeat right off of the bat. And then, of course, Sting's title's on the line. He doesn't even have to get paid to lose it. And I think you probably even heard all the talk going around the locker room today about that eight-man tag team match where the TNA world title's at stake as Slick Johnson counts two on the shoulders of Taylor Wilde. There's that question of trust when it comes to Samoa Joe and the phenomenal AJ Styles and their tag team partners, Brother Ray, Brother Devon, Team 3D. Can Joe and AJ trust Brother Ray and Brother Devon? I'll tell you what, though, if I'm AJ Styles and Samoa Joe, you know what? What have you got to lose? You've got to trust them. You don't have the world championship. It's not like you've got it and you're trusting them to have your back. Sting's got to trust that Kevin Nash, Scott Steiner, and Booker T will be there when he needs them so that he can keep his belt. So even though that's the talk, I really believe there's less risk on AJ Styles' side as you see a nice scoop and a slam by Roxy. And the quick tags here, Boy, especially Roxy, Taylor Wilde working in tandem. And as Taylor gets elevated up by her partner, you see Velvet Sky scoot out of the ring. She gets rolled right out of there. She is not going to take the shot. Good move on her part. Roxy decides to go over as Velvet Sky tags Angelina Love and takes a oh, shot at him. Now two down as far as the beautiful people are concerned. And you know what that means. The ball is in your court, Charmel. Oh, Charmel's pointing. She wants, she wants one of them to get back in the ring. She Here we go. Scared to death. ODB's got the tag. Charmel, you're going to have to help him out. Oh, you, you talked about potential involvement by Q Camp and the fashionist for the beautiful people. Pulls off the shirt and squares off with ODB. Slick gets in the way, and now that's just the opening for the beautiful people to come in the back door and put the boots to ODB. Well, that was, you got to give Kip Kip credit for that. I mean, you could see Taylor Wilde was confused. You could see Roxy confused ODB. Kip Kip went in there, ran the interference, allowed the beautiful people to get back in and blindside him, and able to keep Charmel out of the ring all in one boot. So you got to give Kip Kip credit. But how about that shot to the chest by ODB and another one? Boy, the way that Charmel was hiding behind that ring post, it was like her whole life just flashed right in front of her face. Just at the thought of having to get in the six-sided ring with ODB, but now this is the beautiful people taking control. Well, again, you gotta give Kip Kip the thanks for turning it around. As you can see, Angelina Love, Velvet Sky working together as a team. And oh, look at that. She made sure the referee was looking over at him so she could intimidate Roxy and Taylor Wilde, rub it in her face, and then come back to ODB. Beatdown continues on ODB, including Angelina taking her with force, driving her back first right into the corner, turn buckles, and gonna do it a second time. Well, she's using the power game on ODB. Don't we'll see that very often. But Angelina Love is definitely the strongest wrestler of the three on that side. There's no doubt about it. Angelina Love is, is gonna have to do most of the hard work and the dirty work. Velvet Sky is so good at coming in and blinding, hitting it from the blind side and helping Angelina Love out. And nice drop kick by Angelina Love. Right in the chin of ODB, and this, this match has just turned around completely. Yeah, even though the beautiful people outnumbered in essence here, three on two. Whoa, I was just going to talk about.
out. Charmel not even getting involved. And now with ODB down and out, Charmel says, I'll get my hands dirty. Well, she said she was going to go get her on her butt. Let's see what that's all about. As you can see, she knows she's got an advantage. And look at that. Puts the forearm right into the chin, right into the side of the cheek of ODB. And then trying to intimidate Roxy and Taylor Wilder now coming over and just throwing haymakers. Shot after shot. Now, but ODB gets to her feet, gets mad, and Charmel gets out in a hurry. Boy, talk about a hit and run attack by Charmel. I guess that's uh, her description about Beyonce and all over the dimpled cellulite butt of ODB. Gets in, hit and run, right back out to the apron. Well, Velvet Sky right now got a handful, so Angelina Long's gonna come out and try to help her. Because ODB, once she breaks three of this, and oh, she ducks at her knee, and there she is, and just takes them both out with a close line to each of them. Explosive move by ODB. Could prove to be the chance for her to get to the corner and tag in either Taylor Wilde or Loxie. Both of those TNA knockouts extending their hands in, just begging to get involved. Well, you know ODB would love to pin Charmel because that's how it all started, but she's smart enough to know, hey, let Taylor Wilde, she's fresh, she's ready, let her get in there. She's a former champion, and Taylor Wilde is cleaning out. Boy, unleashing the attack with drop kicks. Beautiful people on the receiving end, and then the tilt a whirl backbreaker across the knee for Angelina. Here comes the pin. Here's two velvet in with a double sledge, the double axe to stop the three count. Yeah, just at the last second, but that gives Roxy a chance. And look at Roxy, just sends Velvet Sky right out of the ring onto the floor, and it's kind of broken down to a brawl. Charmel gonna go in there while ODB's back's turned to her. She's hesitating through it on. Oh, look at this. Here's the showdown. Uh-oh, Charmel looks like she's seen a ghost here, and ODB turns, stares her right in the eyes, and says, finally, this is my chance. Yeah, some people in the ghetto are a little embarrassed by that right now, and there you see Q Kip getting in between them in a hurry, but look at ODB. She takes the snap, and now she goes right after Charmel, and Charmel flies out of here like a bat out of hell. Straight up the entrance ramp and down the tunnel with ODB and even Q Kip in pursuit. Gonna try and keep our focus here on the ring with Taylor Wilde and Angelina Love squaring off. And again, keep in mind, Roxy Velvet Sky have already been fighting outside. Taylor Wilde going for it, but Angelina Love able to get the boots up. Now she's gonna go top rope and try to finish this match off and get that locker room she's been craving. Oh, nice cross body block. Sure yeah, is. Wait a minute. Look at how quickly Two. Taylor reversed it. People instead, you saw how quickly Taylor Wilde turns it around, and I guess they're not going to get Booker's locker room after all. Well, nope, they don't get the crib of Booker T. Let's send it to JB for the X Division challenger tonight, Eric Young.